Oh yeah. It's double. Double again. Hey, thanks for reaching out to me. Hey, sorry, uh, still in my work clothes here. Oh, must be busy working hard for that uh, that big day coming up. Wink, wink. Your secret's safe with me. Oh, no, I'm just a mall Santa. Sure you are. Well, I won't tell anyone. You know, client confidentiality and all. Yeah, well, uh, anyway, I had some questions I wanted to ask you. Yeah, you wanted to uh, ask me about some uh, raw food, staying raw in the winter. Okay, so, you know, around this time of year, there's a lot of gatherings and get-togethers, friends and family, parties and so on. And uh, I'm not really sure... Uh, you know how to deal with that and what do I bring and and uh, are they gonna understand uh, you know what I'm doing and uh, if you could just give me some tips about that that would be really helpful yeah Christmas parties got a couple coming up myself and so you know how can we how can we get through them There's a lot that can be said on social outings and, and all of this stuff. Surround yourself first and foremost with, with understanding people. Your friends and your family, they should be understanding. Hopefully, you know, cross our fingers. They're not always, uh, but if, if they're not understanding right away, that's the next step. We talk to them in, in a, uh, you know, a, a nice open way and uh, you know say it's just really important to you that this is the way you eat and um, during that conversation you're happy to answer whatever question you want and maybe at parties you'll be happy to answer questions but maybe you express to them that you know at parties I'm not really interested in talking about my diet that's up to you to decide if um, you find that at parties everyone's just like Rah! Why do you eat this? Protein, protein, blah, blah, blah. Uh, you can say, hey, at parties, you know, let's just enjoy ourselves, our company, and, you know, you can go about it that way. So that's kind of the, uh, the, the personal level. Next, uh, maybe, maybe you feel left out. You know, everyone else is doing uh, things or eating things that maybe you used to eat. Maybe they're drinking, so what you could do is make a fruit juice and, I mean, it could look any color, it could be fancy, and you could be drinking out of a, a fancy glass just like they are, and, uh, you know, no one's questioning you saying, hey, how come you're not drinking? And uh, so that's, that's another way. You can eat before, so there's no temptations, or uh, you can make some sort of nice, fancy, fancy food for you to eat and, and other people might want to try it as well. It's all about creating uh, a welcoming and accepting environment and being accepting is really important. You have to accept them, especially if you're their guest, you have to accept those people of what they're doing, it's their choice, and then hopefully they're going to accept you, right? It's a two-way street. So, uh, hope that helps. Those are some of my tips on, uh, you know, Christmas parties or any party, really. Peace. Ho, ho, ho. You caught me. Now, as long as our little secret here is safe, I won't have to put you on the naughty list. Now, I hope that uh, Mrs. Claus buys uh, me your cookbook for Christmas this year. I'd love to unwrap that book and and make some of those delicious recipes I've seen you post online. Yeah, we get the internet up here in the North Pole. Santa's a uh, technological. Okay, well, the the elves and I need to get back to the workshop and 
and uh, I need to check that list. Okay, goodbye. Thank you very much. Oh yeah, it's Double Organic. Don't forget to subscribe on YouTube. Comment, like, share, and subscribe. We've got epic recipes for you. Fitness and raw food motivation. Connect with me on Facebook and Instagram. You won't regret it. Stay tuned for more.